I'm trying to take a break from alcohol. I haven't drank in like 11 months, which is brutal. No, don't, no, I'll be back. But uh, <laughs> I will. This is the problem. This is why I had to take a break, right? Because I started to get like hardcore post-drinking anxiety. You guys ever get that where you drink super hard for like two days in a row, then you wake up and you feel like you've let down everyone who's ever cared for you <laughs> in your entire life, because you did. I used to fall asleep in my Ubers all the time. I have like a 1.6 rating. <laughs> and honestly, it's the only time I get a good night's sleep. When I'm blackout drunk in the backseat of an Uber. It is, it should be a service that they offer. <laughs> right, fuck Uber Eats, I want Uber Sleeps. <laughs> Pop me in that backseat like I'm a one year old. <laughs> Drive me around the neighborhood. Let me listen to the engine and pretend it's my mama's womb. I'll get the deepest eight hours of my life. <laughs> Anybody here ever get woken up by your driver? That's a jarring experience. <laughs> One of my, my last times, right, I got woken up by my driver and I, I could just tell it wasn't his first attempt. <laughs> I just knew, because I was horizontal. <laughs> in the backseat, I just really made this guy's car my home. So I assume he gave me a few of the obligatory, like, sir, can you wake up? Oh, please, buddy, can you wake up? Because by the time I woke up, he was in the backseat with me. <laughs> on top of me, like, buddy, buddy, can you wake up? I woke up, I'm like, yeah! I fucking mule kicked him off me. Because I thought I interrupted my own rape. It's like, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, that's one star no matter how you shake it. I don't care how many waters and Jolly Ranchers I've had. <laughs> this is the big problem. Like why I had to stop also is, you know, vanity. You know what I mean? I'm 34, I'm Irish, I wear alcohol. <laughs> Seriously, when I drink, my body hangs on to booze like it's imperative to live. So I just, I, I'm all warped and weird looking all the time. When I'm boozing, I have one day a week where I truly look like myself. I do, cause I go so hard Thursday through Sunday. The rest of the week is trying to get back to homeostasis. <laughs> Thursday through Sunday is wild. I'm boozing, I'm eating, I'm not sleeping. I never even heard of water. <laughs> By Monday, I'm like, I don't even know that man in the mirror. <laughs> Every single Monday is a New Year's resolution. <laughs> Every Monday I wake up, I'm like, that's it? I gotta get my act together. I'm not drinking anymore. I'm going to the gym. I'm eating salads, drinking green juice. I'm gonna finally satisfy my wife sexually. I know, that's a big drop off. That's the thing, when I was in my 20s, didn't matter. I got 38 drinks. I had superhero dick. 38 drinks, still. <laughs> Powerful, potent, consistent erections. Now I'm 34, I have four beers. My dick is like a shoelace that lost the plastic thing at the end. <laughs> Just trying to like mash it <laughs> and grabbing one strand in hopes that the rest will follow. <laughs> wow, I just saw some sad familiarity on some dude's face. I saw this guy bury his head. It's tough to push rope. It's a nightmare. But that's why I'll be back, right? Because drunk sex is so fun. It's the most fun. Like, I, you know. I had drunk sex with my wife a few months ago and I was crushing it. <laughs> I was, because I had all that booze confidence, you know what I mean? That drunk confidence, I was pulling out every single move, finger in my own ass, the whole thing. Right? <laughs> and it was lasting forever. I remember being like, 40, 50 minutes, this is my personal best. <laughs> then I looked down and I wasn't even inside of her. <laughs> my awful dick was just mashing into her thigh. It looked like driftwood washing up under the rocks. 